your first time stopping through. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I've been getting a lot of inbox messages on, um, you know, a lot of people are really curious about my wig wearing and, you know, my process and, and what I do and how I do it. So I thought I'd make a, a video just kind of laying out that process. Um, what I had in mind was how I make my wig from the beginning to the end. Um, dyeing the hair. I, so I had some hair that I hadn't used, um, like basically recycled hair. Um, so I used those bundles and I bought a new closure. So I dyed the closure, you know, sewed everything on to the dome cap. I layered it. I plucked the closure. It was going to be a full video, but of course, as Murphy Law would have it, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Um, I had some issues with formatting my SD card. I lost a lot of footage. Um, so what you're going to see in the video is basically, ooh, excuse me. So what you're going to see in the video is basically kind of everything done. Like, um, I lost footage of me bleaching the closure. I may have a clip or two, but it's really dark and gritty. It was just kind of me testing, uh, testing out the lighting. Um, I lost the footage of uh, me, you know, rinsing the bleach out of the closure, conditioning the closure. I lost all of that footage. I lost the footage of me sewing the hair onto the wig. Now what I will do is I will link the videos that I used back in the day, like four years ago to help me out in my wig making process. I'll link some of those videos down below, you know, the ladies that helped me out. Um, but yeah, so this video, just to recap what you will see, this video will be uh, me flat, iron, flat ironing the wig, um, layering the wig, like putting heavy layers, these, you know, these layers and framing my face and uh, plucking the closure and cutting some of the dome cap from up top so just so it looked a little more natural so if that is something that you want to see stay tuned and enjoy thank you so here is the wig freshly sewed together and on the dome cap and nothing has really been done to the closure besides um you know bleaching and sewing it on well, that doesn't really sound like too much of nothing, but <laughs> yeah, right now I am just um, getting ready to flat iron the closure just to make it easier for when I get ready to cut the layers into the hair. Now when I cut my hair or when I cut my layers, I take small sections of hair. I'd rather, I'd much rather cut too little and be able to go back than, you know, just chop a whole bunch off and be screwed because, you know, as you all know, silk-based closures aren't really cheap, you know. You can't just be like, oh, okay, I'll buy another one. I mean, it, you can, but... Um, I put a lot of work into dyeing this damn closure and getting it together. So the last thing I want to do is, you know, cut too much and just mess everything up and have to get another one. So yeah, what you'll see a bunch of in this video is me putting a whole bunch of layers in it. Like even after this, right now I'm curling it, but after I get everything curled, I reevaluate and I normally go back in and I, I chop even more. That's just me 
checking how I frame my face. Um, but yeah, the rest of this video is pretty self-explanatory. Um, there will be a part just where I go in and cut a little chunk of the dome cap just to make it look more realistic. Um, and they, there will also be some, um, some plucking of the closure, just that part, to also make it look a lot more realistic. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to let you all enjoy the video. Um, go ahead and like this video if you already, if, well, if you haven't already. Um, leave some comments down below, and if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. 